ENT 110 students, welcome Sunday evening, 9-11. Just wanted to touch base with you and make sure that um, you are staying on top of your homework. Uh, if you have already turned your homework in for week three, I do have that up and posted on Blackboard. Um, I'm keeping on top of those Blackboard grades, uh, each, each semester gets a little bit better. And so for this semester, uh, for this week, chapter three, just a quick reminder, uh, you have chapter six and seven, you have homework questions from both of those. Uh, you also have a discussion post that you're working on that will be due at the end of week four. Um, and you have a couple videos this week, what is the best way to find a business idea, and also talking about creating a mission and a vision. And so uh, when you are thinking about finishing up your homework this week, if you haven't already, please make sure that you are thinking about your discussion. We've had some great discussion posts already relative to their to students' interviews with local entrepreneurs. If you are having any difficulties locating an entrepreneur or getting them to respond to you, please reach out to me. You have my email, you have my phone. Uh, send me a text, send me an email, and that will be due at the end of next week. Now, in the upcoming week, we also have a midterm exam, which if you've been doing your homework all along and paying attention, you should be fine. Just a reminder that I want you to turn in your homework via email to me directly, so not through messaging or anything like that. Also, another reminder, if you have late homework, right, that maybe you didn't turn in week two's homework, turn it in because any points are better than no points. So I will give you points even for late homework. You won't get full credit, but you get some points. So make sure that if you have any back homework, you're getting that to me so I have that on the book so that you don't have a zero in the homework grade or in the discussion post. A late discussion post is better than no discussion post. So again, as you're moving through your academic career, you wanna make sure that you're gathering as many points as possible every semester, right? Or every term, every course. Um, so just. Be, be mindful of that. The other uh, reminder for this week is that if you are having any sort of technological difficulties, do not let it slide for very long, right? You can reach out to me. You can, uh, if you want to be on campus over at our St. Ben's Center, we have Mary Howells in the library. She's there all day, every day, and she is a guru when it comes to technological issues. We also have student services, Dr. Bowman, uh, Clarissa Stewart-Baker, Andrea Campbell, all sorts of folks on the third floor that can help you. Or if you need help, I can send you an email if you want help outside of me. If there are things that are, um, you know, you're running into trouble outside of your academic arena, we have resources available we can put you in touch with. So just make sure that you are communicating. So communicate, 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 right? With me, with other folks on campus that can help because these eight week courses move very quickly. Uh, and we are moving into week four as of Tuesday. So you will have a video update from me on Tuesday with new material uh, in the upcoming week. And I just wanted to touch base with you and make sure that you um, are finishing out the week strong and that you are getting your homework in um, by tomorrow night, 11.59. And if you can get your discussion post in, that's great. But you do have until uh, 9.19, which is the following Monday, to get that in. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will talk to you on Tuesday.